So this is section 7.1, bearing loads. So when we use bearings, we're, we're putting bearings on shafts. And those shafts then go into a housing. And the bearings help keep the shaft aligned in regards to the rest of the world, but yet also still allows the shaft to move. The bearings, in addition to supporting the shaft, also reduce the friction of the support. Well, if you've got a weight of a shaft and a load, that equates to pressure. And that pressure is going to impart other loads into the bearing. So we need to know, in general, what these loads are. And the load is referred to as in the direction that it's applying force or pressure. And pressure is nothing more than force over an area. So please, we're going to look at, at pressure as a, as a function of force. So that's what we're going to look at it. All right. So a radial load is any load that's applied perpendicular, it's 90 degrees, to the shaft. So that's going to be a radial load. So anything perpendicular, 90 degrees, is a radial load. Now, that said, if, it, if the load, if the force, the pressure being applied to the bearing is in the same axis to the load, or to the shaft, I should say, if the pressure, the force being applied by the load is in the same direction as the shaft, then it is an axial load because that load is parallel to the shaft. So we've got radial, 90 degrees to the shaft. So if the pressure or force is being applied 90 degrees to the shaft, it's radial. If the pressure or force is applied parallel to the shaft, it's axial. If it's somewhere in between radial and axial, it's a radial axial load. So think of it has to be perfectly 90 degrees for radial, ideally. Perfectly 0 degrees, so it's running parallel for an axial load. And then if it's anywhere between 0 and 90, it's a radial axial load. Uh, I know, really, really thought for sure they were going to throw us a Mickey on that one, right? Nope, they they were sweet enough to uh, let us go on that one. So here's a, here's a diagram. So here's an axial load, and that's up at the top there. Let's see if I can get my, my point. Ah, no, not that way. I wanted a pointer. And I'm, I'm not going to get one. Dang, nab it. So here's an axial load. It's running parallel to our shaft. And then a radial axial load is we've got it a perpendicular component and a parallel component to our force, our pressure. And so we're as we we've got pressure operating in both planes, we would call it a radial axial load. So that's it for loads. I try to make it a quickie.